welcome to my channel and welcome to the video about my October coloring plans. First of all, in October I would love to spend more time with Hannah Carson books. I am glad that recently I returned to Hannah books, but unfortunately I returned to coloring them very slowly. I would love to color much more frequently, but at least it was a new start, new beginning, and I think that October and November is perfect time for Forest Kingdom and for um, which how it's called in English, like witch house or something like this. But I think that everyone recognizes this book about witches and I hope that you agree with me that for autumn season, for the end of fall, that's probably two best books. I love their size, but it's really difficult to select what picture I want to color first. In Forest Kingdom, for a long time, I wanted to do this one where we have all animals gathered about fire and I think that one day I definitely will do it. You know that I love pictures where you can play with highlights with reflections from one strong source of light and here we have exactly this example with this fire, fireplace and um, all animals will be highlighted by this warm light so it will be interesting to do and they all are so adorable and i love this atmosphere of friendship and care which you have here but of course i also want to color in hexenstuga because it's full of beautiful witches of bottles with magical potions magical creatures and i love to color pictures with such them so now i am looking at this one because it has everything I love to color those bottles with magical potions, tiny fire dragon, and also crystals and even magical wand. So, really nice, and you can experiment with something on the background. Actually, this one is also quite pretty. And another one it's this beautiful witch. She is beautiful herself. I absolutely love flowers which decorate her head and all those bottles. It's another reason why I want to do this one. I hope that at least one among these three pictures I will do in October. But I will try to do more, maybe two of them. And of course, in Clara Marco, my only book, I have that famous spread dedicated to Halloween, which I plan to color during uh, many years already since I got this book. And honestly, in the beginning I was thinking about doing something more simple for the witch Sam, like this adorable witch with also many nice bottles. She is very nice herself. I love her hat and all those bottles. But then my patrons asked me that it would be better to color this spread. And maybe if I started in the beginning of October until the end of November, I will manage to do it. Oh well, it's full of amazing details. Look at this cauldron and all animals are so nice, even the smallest like insects which are dorming here, a lot of nice sweets, berries just like I love to color and fruits, not only pumpkins, so it's really really nice, but Clara Markova pictures, they are so detailed that sometimes um, after I start to color them I feel so overwhelmed by detailed, even with one page picture two pages, well, it will be a huge project, but of course one day I will do it because it's absolutely gorgeous. Next, in a Village Charm, I decided that among all my Teresa Goodrich books, I need to return to Village Charm, because honestly I don't remember when I last touched it, probably last summer when I did an ice cream shop. So this time I decided that this very interesting landscape with this quite original bridge. Um, I can turn it into perfect fall picture where we still have plenty of flowers and I think that those 
those flowers which we have here inside of the basket, they were the main reason why I decided to color them. But to do that landscape and tiny adorable houses, it also will be interesting. I still don't know how to color water properly in Teresa Kudrich books, but here, as we mostly will need to do, uh, only reflection of the bridge in the surface of the water and then only small area of the water, I think that I will manage to do it somehow. I really like composition of this landscape, very original, so probably Village Charm will be my book for October. Then I realized that in September I neglected Kanoko Yaguza, and it's a shame because in Symphony of Cute Animals we have so many nice autumn pictures, but I will start not from one of the autumn pictures which we have here, and honestly I want to do all of them dedicated to Halloween or simply pictures with pumpkins, but I promised to color this page with chameleons and with these beautiful tropical flowers, so this will be my project number one in October, because I promised, and then we will see uh, if I have more time for other pictures. Good thing is that pictures are relatively small, much smaller comparing to what we have in Manoid. But in Manoid I also will do a page, and this time I decided to do something in my Asian part, this Japanese beauty definitely deserves to be colored and I've wanted to do it for a long time and maybe finally I made my decision about all main main colors here. I really love to color those Japanese temples, those beautiful unique architecture and of course I want to color this Wisteria, probably. Anyway, very nice picture, so that will be another Kanoko Yaguza project for my October. Also, I really enjoyed doing big spread in Fragile World in September, and I have in mind another spread, but it's even more detailed. Here I have this Galapagos penguins. For me it's not difficult, it's only time consuming. I can imagine uh, already which colors I want to use for the stones, for the water, for the underwater part, for the sky to make it a little bit more original rather than simple blue. But you can imagine how long it would take me to finish it, because here I mostly color with pencils. On several spreads I use watercolor, but here I think that I want to do everything with pencils. And the thing is that I don't like to do like left side and then next month the right side, because I prefer to color like the whole sky, then all clouds, then all stones, so maybe I will um, put for my October plans, like do this upper part where we, you have sky and stones and some penguins and the underwater part you can do in November. Maybe it will be the best solution. Here I have next two books and I can hear that they are laughing and giggling at me because I put them into my October and November plans for many, many years, probably three years at least, and each fall season I promise that in Le Jean Nouveau I will do this Oak King, because it could be colored as perfect fall season picture with beautiful Oak leaves, and he is also beautiful himself, and I also think that if I do this one, then during winter season I will do the Holy King, and I make such promise to myself already for several years, so I can hear that he is giggling at me, that <laughs> promises, promises. And in Briar coloring book, for many years I want to do this beautiful picture with cat, with witch hat and with cauldron. Those cauldrons and potions are one of the most interesting themes for me. Look at this 
On details on the background we have those poppy seeds, we have this bottle. Cat is quite interesting, especially the paw which she dipped into the potion. So very nice one and yeah, it's also a very frequent guest in my plants but I never had maybe courage, maybe time to finally start coloring in it. Maybe this year it will be more lucky. I really want to start my kings and queens. Uh, my new book which I got only in September, mostly because I want to test this paper once more. I have in mind many books by John Green, but they all are printed in the same quality on relatively thin paper with thick black lines and double-sided. So I don't know. If I if I am disappointed with my first picture here, then definitely I won't be purchasing any more books. But they are so nice and... Oh well, so I will try to do this Queen Mary. Maybe it's not the most beautiful picture in the book, but somehow I always felt pity for Queen Mary for her quite difficult life and how it changed her character and pity that because of her life she now has not very good memory of herself. So definitely this will be my first project and I hope that if I use soft pencils like Prisma colors I won't damage this picture on the back because here we have another beauty, here we have her father page. So I will try to look how you can see that black lines for this portrait they are visible here and I want to see if I do this page in full color how it would damage the page of the back so it will be a little bit of experimenting next one it will be colorless kingdom and in October I want to work in the second part which has a slightly darker yeah, dark and gothic pictures. And here I have plenty of pictures which I would love to start, but it would be quite nice if I start at least one of them. My choices now will be between this very nice switch, but I simply don't know what to do with the background. For now I think that I will do a frame. It's one of the few pictures here which doesn't have frame. But I will do it and I think that I can simply do a grey background with alcohol marker. And it will be enough because the picture itself is very detailed. So we don't need anything on the background apart from the light color. Or maybe I can do this beauty. Really nice. And here background, it's very detailed, but I'm not afraid of uh, detailed backgrounds. I really love her. Or maybe this one. Look at her beautiful dress. Look at the beautiful Marie Antoinette style hair. And everything here is really nice. And I never mind to color reds or mouse, so it's also an interesting point for me. Again, yeah, I just need to decide what to do with the empty background, but again I think that something in a very light one color, maybe markers again will help me, or maybe some pastel prisma color pencils. So I will do a choice between those three and I hope that I will do something in colorless kingdom, because so far I have only one finished picture here. I remember how much pleasure I felt when I did this one, so I definitely need to color more in Colorless Kingdom. And finally, I realized that my one of my favorite artists, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, was totally neglected by myself during the whole year. And of course October and November could be perfect months to work in Jasmine Halloween book. Here I prefer pictures where girls have, I don't know how to explain, like more adult look like this one rather than this or this. So those beauties which have um, again those interesting dresses in 
maybe Venice style or Marie Antoinette style, so Rococo style probably, and all those details like cranes or animals. So I think maybe this vampire girl or maybe this Carnival du Mort, also very interesting. This macabre theme, something between beautiful and macabre, that's Sam's which always attracted me in Jasmine Beckett Griffith art. So <laughs> wish me luck to do something here because I love everything about her books. It's not a problem for me to work on their faces. They are easy to shade. They are not realistic and you don't need to try to do very realistic shading. I love paper here, especially for Prismacolor pencils. So I don't know why I hadn't colored in her books for such a long time. I need to correct this mistake. Well, that's where my October plans. Of course, I also will keep close to my, to my working area my newest books like Amazon or book by Leila Dulin because I want to start them. But of course it depends from amount of my free time. And if we have electric power, because you know that during um, fall season, it's rem when I remember the last year when we had such a long blackouts, it would be just a miracle if I managed to color at least something. Okay, so I hope that you will be interested in some of these pictures and that you will color them together with me. Thank you and I will return to you with some of my October projects very soon.